Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with another video and today's video is actually going to be my week three and week four check-in and my results all in one. Like I mentioned in the last video, I have not had to spend literally a cent here really because my family has just been taking me out pretty much everywhere so I have not had to spend anything they have not let me spend for anything um, for food or shopping or anything so I wanted to go ahead and combine both the last two weeks and just combine it with the results video that's the reason why I didn't have that many check-ins this month but I usually do have about four check-ins and then my results video so yeah let's go ahead and get started I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in just a tiny bit. I'm sorry about the shadow, but you guys probably didn't see this in my last check-in because I didn't really talk about it then. But I think I talked about it in one of my plan with me's, but my pen literally exploded on me. And it's all over my page, so I'm going to try to work around that. But if you see marks like these, or I think I even got some marks right here too. That's the reason why. I'm also filming at night, so if it's not as bright as it usually is, then that's the reason why. So I'm going to go ahead and just look at week four and week five. And if you guys would have seen last week's check-in, then you guys would know that these are the numbers that I ended up with. So I'm going to write all my categories. So the categories that I check in for um, my monthly budget are eating out. gas, shopping, and I'm budgeted. And I'm not even going to lie, this is pretty much going to be a fast weekly check-in just because I haven't really spent money. I was trying to really see what it was that I spent money on and I found like two things within this these two weeks so yeah <laughs> I hope you guys understand that I just haven't been spending money which is actually really good for my budget but not so good for the weekly check-ins because they're, they're just super boring but I hope you guys understand so these are the categories that I do my weekly check-ins on and I'm going to go ahead and just move into my monthly expenses so as you guys saw from last week I went all the way up to the 21st and I'm going to be looking from the 22nd all the way until the 31st and as you guys can see so these are bills so I already had paid my Amazon and then my Spotify bill was actually on auto pay and that one already came out of course because the month is over so I can check this off and the only two things that I have are shopping entries as you guys can see from my little key right here the purple budget stickers mean shopping so off the bat I can go ahead and write they didn't spend anything for eating out so I'm going to put zero zero and the first week from the 22nd until the 28th I spent for for gas I didn't spend anything either because I haven't been driving here of course so then we move on to shopping and then for shopping from the 22nd through the 28th so these two right here it went to sally's and the reason i went to sally's which i was really surprised that they even had a sally's here they have a bunch of things that they didn't have before which really amazes me but it really makes me happy i bought a developer because i actually had bought some developer back at home but the developer was just too heavy for me to carry my luggage. So I decided to just leave it at home and just buy some developer here, which was only $2.98. So not bad. And then last but not least, I do have my iCloud storage charge that I do pay for, which is $0.99. Cents. $3.97. So for eating out, I still had $56.27. I'm just going off of these numbers. For gas, I still had 83 cents. For shopping, I had 14.34, so I'm going to go ahead and subtract that from the 3.97. So the remaining amount that I have is 10.37, which is perfect. And then my unbudgeted, I didn't have anything for unbudgeted, 
but I was already over that from last week. If you guys would have seen last week's video, you guys know why. And that was 104.64. Pretty much it for all of my expenses so I'm going to just check those off and just put all zeros for the last week which was actually a couple of days it wasn't a whole week so it was just from the 29th until the 31st so just three days I believe yes I'm going to go ahead and just write my zeros there you guys have no clue how sad I was when my pen exploded on me it just, I don't know, it just doesn't look good at all. But, you know, it's okay. So then I'm just going to go ahead and write the same exact numbers as here because I didn't have any expenses whatsoever for the last three days of the month. Whenever I'm over something in red, just so it stands out to me. So just like that. Okay, so now I have all of my weeks accounted for and now I can go ahead and take these numbers in order to fill in all of my sections in my monthly budget. So before I do fill in these categories I want to go ahead and go back to both my sinking funds and my variable expenses just because I hadn't updated it last weekly check-in so I finally updated my sinking funds and as you guys can see, I went ahead and just put one more entry. So it was from a Peru trip for the rest of the presents that I had to get. So I was left over with zero on both my Christmas sinking fund as well as my Peru trip sinking fund, which is totally fine. I actually did do my January sinking funds video and that's already up. So if you guys would like to check it out to see what categories I have and how much I am adding on each of those categories, go ahead and check that out. And then next, I do want to go ahead and show you guys my variable income and expending tracker. So I did have a couple of more sources of income for my variable income this month. I did have Poshmark, YouTube. I did have a settlement check from my past job. I did put tutoring here because I thought that I was going to go ahead and work some hours with that but I didn't end up working any at all so obviously for my actual I would have zero because I didn't get any money from that and then last but not least I do have share of sale so I was not counting with having income from share of sale but I'm actually really happy about that so that's why I put a zero I wasn't counting at for it so my estimated was basically what I think I'm going to make in each of those sources. So since I wasn't counting for share sale at all, I just put a zero. And share sale, if you guys are, don't know, is where I get um, sort of the kickback slash commission whenever you guys do use any of my referral links from Erin Condren. I know a lot of you guys have used them, so I just want to go ahead and personally thank you so much to anybody who has ever used my links, whether it be the affiliate links or the link for you guys to get $10 off your first Erin Condren purchase. I always have those links down below if you guys are interested in checking any of the items out that I use so I wasn't counting on that so I'm really happy that I got that extra income because like I said I've been in Peru so I haven't been working these last couple of days one last entry that I did put for my spending tracker was that I bought some planning supplies from Amazon if you guys would like to know I don't have them with me right now but I got the slice tool that I used to cut washi my plan with me as well as I got some pens that I would need for stickers like the Levy & Co because I do know that those don't take the regular gel pens so I wanted to go ahead and purchase those before I left for Peru so that was this so then how this whole budget thing works for me especially with my variable income is whatever I do have in my actual I subtract from all the expenses that I have these are all variable income expenses so whether it be graphic design web page where I make my thumbnails for YouTube or the stickers that I buy to show you guys on YouTube I actually got this procreate for my iPad because I want to start designing and writing out calligraphy to make stickers for and just planning supplies that I'm going to be showing on YouTube all these expenses I do take them as variable income expenses because I am using the money that I make from YouTube to go back into my YouTube show you guys more things so that's how this whole page works and once I subtract this from this whatever money that I have left over which will go right here 
goes to this side of my actual monthly budget so we have my hourly income which is my job and my variable income so that number that I subtracted from the last page goes on to this one so I put it in my actual and that's how I total up my whole income for the month so now we're gonna go ahead and go into my expenses so as you guys know, I do have this kit from Caffeinated Kate that separates my expenses for me. So I have my fixed expenses and my variable expenses. So my fixed expenses are basically expenses that are set in stone, like bills. It could also be like your mortgage or even like your cable. Anything that you know, it's fixed and it's not going to change. So you know the exact amount. So for a mortgage, you probably pay the same exact amount amount each month and that's why it is a fixed expense so for me from the get-go I know how much I'm going to be paying for my bills and that's why those are fixed expenses for me so I put the exact amount that I know I'm going to pay so things like my phone bill because I already knew how much it was going to be my Spotify obviously and my sinking funds I do have it at least written down somewhere so I know the exact amount that doesn't change so that's why that's a fixed expense for me and then we have my variable expenses and these are expenses that could change and the ones that I actually budget for so the ones that I do my weekly check-ins for so that could be my food slash eating out my gas for my car shopping and I had two other variable expenses this month which were school and gifts and go ahead and talk a little bit more about what those were so these are all set in stone and that is the amount that I had to pay for my fixed expenses which was $615 now I'm going to go ahead and move on to the actual ones that I budgeted which were my variable expenses and that's the whole reason why this ties into my weekly check-in and why I love to do my weekly check-in because I can make myself accountable each week as to how much I'm spending for my budget to see if I'm doing good and to really manage my money well so that my budgeted amount can last me for the whole month. So I'm going to go ahead and get all the amounts that I had in my weekly check-in and subtract them from the budgeted amounts to get my actuals and my variances. For my eating out, I actually was a lot under, which is really, really good. So my actual amount for my food slash eating out this month was $93.73. So that is super, super perfect. Obviously, all of my months are not like these, um, but I did have the advantage that I was here in Peru, and all of my family just wanted to pay for me, so I'm really thankful for that. So then that means that I was actually under by 56 27 so whatever I'm under I do just in regular black ink and when whatever I'm over I do in red ink that, that way I know the difference between them next for my car I was under by 83 cents so that means that my actual spending for gas was 79.17 cents under then for shopping I was under once again my actual amount for shopping was 89.63 and my variance I was under so it was 10.37 Next for school, um, the reason I had this school section was because I wanted to go ahead and I mentioned in the beginning of the month that I wanted to buy out a book um, that I was renting just because I really loved the book. I had written on the book and I just really liked the stories. I budgeted $50 for it, but it turned out to be yeah, sort of a lot more. <laughs> so, it was actually, so I actually have it right here. So as you guys can see, I have my key here and Whatever I am not checking each week in my weekly check-in, I have as sort of the other tabs. So those would only show up in my results video because I don't have them checked in every single week. So for that, um, it was my rental buyout. So the actual for that was $78.22. was 78.22 so that means that I was over that amount and my variance is going to be over by 28.22 so this is when I make it in red and in parentheses 
to mark that it's negative. I just like making it in a register against, just so it stands out once I'm finding out the variance between all of my expenses. Then next I did have a category for gifts because I wanted to go ahead and purchase a gift for my nephew Alonso, which I did purchase and I brought here. He actually lives here in Peru, so I wanted to go ahead and get him a present because I'm going to be here when he turns 10. So I did go ahead and buy that the 12th and that was 22.04. So now I can check that off. I did budget $30 for it, so I was under, so $22.04. So that means that I was under by $7.96. And then last but not least, of course, I had my unbudgeted amount, and that was for my new phone. As I mentioned in last week's budget, it could have been an even heftier amount than that, but with the help of my boyfriend, I brought it down to 104.64, so I am totally a-okay with that. So I was over, obviously, because I don't budget my unbudgeted amount by 104.64. So now I can go ahead and add up my actuals and my variances. So for my actual, I'm just going to go ahead and do it in my phone. So let's see, we have 93.73 plus 79.17 plus 89.63 plus 78.22 plus 22.04 plus 104.64. And that equals to 467 with 44 cents. So if I'm not mistaken, I should be over by 57.44. But let's go ahead and just check with the variances. So I'm going to add all the blacks first and then subtract the reds. 1037 plus 7, 96. Okay. Minus 28.22. Minus 104. 64. And there you go. I was trying to figure out where I went wrong, but I was a penny off. So it was actually 467.43. So I was, like I said, 57.43 over. So then I can go ahead and write it in here. So my actual for my fixed expenses was the same exact thing. So 615. And then for my variable expenses, you guys can see that, was 467.43. So then for whatever I got for my income, I can go ahead and put for my budgeted and my actual, and then I can go ahead and subtract all the expenses from the income and I'll have my actual which would actually be what I'll be saving for December. So that's the way that I make budget for the month is whatever I have from my income after my expenses I do save and I am planning on doing a whole debt free budget pretty soon and sort of how I'm going to go ahead and tackle all of my debt because as you guys know I do have credit cards as well as I do have student loans that I soon will have to start paying for so I do have to take all of that into account so yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this video I don't think I have really anything else to say I think I talked a lot about my budget so I really hope you guys enjoyed please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you guys would like to see any more of my videos and I will see you guys in my next one Bye guys.